doing a lot of doodles with chickens and suddenly realized that a chicken can easily be made into a G-clap. And Belfast, as many people know, has a colorful uh, chicken processing past. It used to be the poultry processing capital of the Northeast, so uh, it's playing on a little bit of uh, historical humor there. It's a real variety of music that uh, just appeals to a lot of little kids, a lot of old fogies like me. Welcome to the opening show of Belfast Free Range Music Festival. Thank you all for being here. Belfast has this great history of creativity in the arts and live music and we really wanted to just create an event that fed on that uh, energy that was already there. Um, Belfast has a great history of just wanting to experience new things. People love to hear musicians as a whole. Um, they're willing to experiment and we wanted to give them a festival in which they could do that. Little girl I loved so well, now she flown. It's springtime, people are ready to get out of the house. It's not like the summertime when you have uh, numerous things to choose from. Um, you know, it's, it's all about springtime. It's about cabin fever, getting out of the house, and really enjoying the coming beautiful months ahead and um, listening to some great music in the meantime. <laughs> well, I don't know, it's a great little town. Um, I haven't lived here but a few years. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of music going on here. A lot of people play music, a lot of artists. It's really sweet. Uh, so people coming from all over, and it's it's terrific. It's especially at this time of year, we need a. We need a uh, something to bring a bunch of people over, and everybody's walking around having a great time. at the Free Range Music Festival this year. We have a wide range of genres. We really wanted there to be something for everyone. So we have everything from hip hop to acapella vocal groups. We have indie rock. We have bluegrass. There, there's really a great range this year. Free Range. <laughs> six bands across seven venues, or six venues, excuse me, and we um, upped it to eight. We're taking baby steps. We want to keep this really low-key vibe as we grow. 
We do plan on growing it to a multi-day festival. I don't see us ever getting you know, bigger than a three-day festival, but we're just taking baby steps. Right? Our biggest fear is getting too big too quick and losing that amazing energy that's here now.
Belfast was incredible. We came from Boston and Connecticut. Love it here. Beautiful, clean air, great people, beautiful faces, beautiful water. Having a blast. We we drove up here, and uh, the second we got in, we sort of like started seeing all these people hustling and bustling about. And we didn't even know that it was sort of a uh, um, kind of encompassing the state. Or encompassing the city. Encompassing the city. We stuck our heads out to a couple of people. Who were like, where, where, where do we sign in? We're playing here, and everyone just seemed to be having a good time and involved. So friendly, and... reaching out to us, trying to help us out, <laughs> giving us food, delicious food. Everybody's food. smiling. Baba, Baba Ganoush. Ganoush. Baba Ganoush. Love you, man. Thank you. Love you, man. The festival is all about enjoying great live music and enjoying it with your neighbors and meeting new people in the process. <laughs> you want to add anything to that? Uh, my brain's fried. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't eaten since 7 a.m. Are you going to high five? Oh. <laughs>